What's up guys, Hong Nian, OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Think Sport. Oh, tr sorry. <laughs> Train Sport, Think Street. Uh, let's uh, let's get into the question. Let me read the question for you guys that sparked the idea for this video. And this question is from Hayward. Uh, and is judo better than BJJ for self-defense even if you can only train at a sports judo school? So I probably answered this question uh, in one way or another in the past in some videos, but I thought about it and yeah. And, and I got I got something different for you guys now. I don't I might have mentioned it before, but I probably probably not in as much detail. So let me get into this. Nothing is better than anything. It really depends on the individual that practices it. Okay, so when I say think train sport, think street is okay. Well, training in sport allows you to train safely because there's rules and. Training in a sport like um, judo or BJJ, even where there's live sparring, so you get to you know um, spar and test your skills, pit your skills against another person at essentially a hundred percent because there's no uh, striking, so you can't get hurt, so you can just go a hundred percent. Then you get good really fast, right? Uh, that's the whole idea behind it. <clears throat> um, you know BJJ and and judo, you can be very effective in it. Uh, in a very short period of time um, because you can go 100% <laughs> and that's where it's that's where like uh, but at the same time there's sports so in a sport you know there's rules and of course there's safety things here and there but like that doesn't stop you from you know training in the sport and in thinking street so what I'm saying is that you got to use your brain so if you train let's say in judo then you have to understand that certain things aren't realistic. Like there's no striking in judo. So I mean, you um, you can't just walk up to a guy and grab him. Like you might get punched in the face. So you kind of have to under you have to understand that. And if you're somebody who thinks street, then it's gonna make uh, it's just common sense. It's just a very logical thing. You know, you understand that. Well, I can't just walk up to a guy and grab him and then throw him like that, you know, like, and he, you know, he's not just going to stand there and let me do it either. So I have to find a way to, to, to come in to like, you know, I have to get into a clinch position. I have to close that distance without getting cracked. I mean, that's just common sense. If you think street, if you think in a self-defense type of uh, uh, scenario in your head, right now in BJJ, right? If you were to do BJJ, then of course you understand that all fights start standing up. So unless you guys are starting off on the ground on your knees, which will not happen in a real fight, then you have to have a way to bring the guy to the ground. And then you can do your thing. And of course, if you're thinking street, you should, you, you'll also realize that, well, there's no mats in the street. It's concrete. So I don't want to be necessarily on my back because there might be multiple attackers too. And so I probably want to be top game for the most part. So then from there like if you keep those certain those things in mind and you think about it and you develop your skills you know um, in BJJ or in judo like you're gonna be better you're gonna be able to defend yourself if ever something happens if you get into street fights which I don't I don't recommend getting into street fight guys like don't get into street fights if, if you could avoid it okay uh, I'm gonna make a video about that regarding self-defense because there were some uh, back and forth regarding my last video where I there was a clip with Ramsey Dewey and we talked about self-defense and then from there it uh, uh, it got I won't say heated but we had some differences of opinion in the comments section and uh, so I'd like to address that but that's gonna be for another video so what I'm saying is that even if you can only train sport it doesn't stop you from thinking street okay and so does judo no judo like in my in my opinion with my skill set at the moment and with my mindset and with my experience and blah 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 
like I would have to say judo is better you know like for the streets because you're standing up and then uh, if I clinch up with a guy I throw him and I could technically end the fight there you know if, if, if the prone is um, if the throw is is if the guy doesn't see it coming and I throw him like he's, he's going for a ride and he's gonna land hard you know, uh, so I could, you know, and I, I'm, I'm standing, so for the next guy, voila, you know. But then, that's, that's just my take on it. But the thing is, even if, even when I didn't practice judo, okay, because I've been doing judo for the past six years, but prior to that, I did BJJ, I still would have been able to, like, uh, throw a punch. <laughs> You know, like I would, I, I obviously I, I don't have any judo throw, so I'm not gonna try and judo throw the guy. But if I were to get into a so-called street fight, I would um, close the distance, you know, while covering my face, and then bring that bring that guy to the ground, or like you know, like grapple with him. And I had basic and like my skills, my takedown uh, game was basic, but functional-ish enough against a. a, a uh, you know, somebody who might not have any to bring that thing to the ground and then take care of it there. You know, so I, I would have, you know, made it work, right? Uh, but I would have understood that I, I got to make it work only, uh, the only way I can make it work is right, if I could bring it to the ground and I would have to close that distance and not get knocked out first and then drag him to the ground and then uh, finish it from there. But it would still be kind of dangerous because, well, you know, if there was multiple attackers and all that, not the best thing. And rolling on the ground, well, you're gonna have to I sacrifice, or you're gonna be wearing clothes for the most part, like jeans and jackets and all that, but you're gonna get, you might get scraped up. You know, if you're wearing a t-shirt, then you're gonna, if you're on the ground and you're rolling and you're, you're pounding out the guy or whatever, then yeah. So what I'm saying is that there's, there's nothing, there's not one that's better than the other. I have a preference for judo uh, because of the things I, uh, I mentioned, but the truth is, you could, uh, it's either or, and it's really a question of mindset. So it depends on with the mindset that you train with. So you could do very well in a street fight with BJJ if you have that street fighter mentality, and you could do very well uh, in a street fight with just judo if you have that fighter mentality, okay? I'm not saying to fight in the street. I'm just saying uh, that's, that's my perspective on it. And uh, let me guys, let me, let me tell you two funny stories. I think one of them I, I actually um, posted recently in a video with a video clip with Shaddy and that one was regarding a high level judoka street fight and uh, in that street fight the judoka well didn't even bother like closing that distance and throwing the guy just leg kicked the shit out of him and that was it. <laughs> guy of course got hurt so bad after I think three, four leg kicks and ran away. <laughs> Watch that video clip. Uh, it, it's, it's recent. Um, man, I'm gonna forget to like, uh, yeah, 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 you know what? Uh, yeah, anyways, it's, it's somewhere. It's, it's the one with um, the video clip with Shaddy and it's called um, Judo Leg Kicks, yeah. That's the judo leg kick, something like that, okay? So, so look for the thumbnails there, the lost art of leg kicking in judo, and I was like, ha ha ha, that's the title. And then in the thumbnail, it's called judo leg kicks. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So check that one out for the full story with details. Okay, so now the BJJ uh, example that I wanna give you guys. I knew this purple belt once in BJJ, and you know, he, he walked out to his car. At one point, his car was in a parking lot. It might have been in the evening. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure about that. Probably was. And then uh, I think there was a couple of guys that walked up to him. I think it was three guys. And um, they looked at him and he said, yo, give me your bag. Cause you know, obviously they saw him come out of, I don't know, some coffee shop or whatever. So he had a, a little like bag with his laptop in it or whatever. And uh, they told him, yo, your bag and your keys and he was a purple belt so purple belt is uh, for for those of you guys who don't know purple belt is considered advanced man in bjj and he handed it over he got punched in the gut 
he fell he fell over and they I think they proceeded to like stomp on him, stomp on him a little bit you know like just kick him and stuff and he covered up and they took his car and they left so it is what it is you know um, what I'm saying is that different it's the mindset that's important right it's the mindset it's not the art and of course if you really want to be um, if you're wor worried about self-defense you're gonna have to have a more rounded skill set so you're gonna have to understand you're gonna have to train in grappling and striking and after that in weaponry right weaponry uh, I would uh, suggest and I forget where I got this from I don't know if it was Ramsey or if it was uh, Icy Mike from Heart to Hurt but uh, probably both <clears throat> but check the laws in your state in your area in your country you know uh, to see what it is that you can actually carry in terms of a weapon and then from there you have to train with that weapon so that when if ever the time comes then you actually are able to use that weapon okay because you can only fight the way you train and now if you carry around let's say a knife with you but you never train with a knife of course a knife is pretty uh, self-evident in my opinion you, know, you can stab and all that but if you want to be really good at it and like you know chop up 10 guys at, at the same time and all then yeah you're gonna have to train um, <laughs> But yeah, so you get out to train with the weapon that you're able to, uh, you know, that you want to carry around with you, you know. And uh, some states you can you carry guns, then you, you're going to have to learn some gung fu, man. You know, and go to the shooting range and shoot people and not people, but shoot target practice and, ta -ta 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 and all that, you know. So that's it. So if, 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 if self-defense is your, your um, you know, your concern, then, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's. It's a little bit, it'll be more, you'll need more than just uh, judo or BJJ. Uh, street fighting, uh, and that's what I, I'm, I'm thinking when you're saying street fighting. I'm thinking street fighting, you mean like self-defense uh, type of scenario, right? Uh, but I don't condone like, uh, you know, going out looking for fights. And uh, of course, I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but I'm saying also the best thing is to avoid a fight. But if you can't avoid a fight, then... Yeah, of course, you do your best to, you know, to survive, to win, you know, and uh, do what you got to do, right? So that's it for this video, guys. That's the thing. It's a mindset thing. You can train sport, you can think street, you know, um, but if it's really a self-defense, street fighting, martial art thing that's going on in your mind, okay, you have to be well-rounded in all aspects, right? So striking, weaponry, uh, grappling, uh, you know, uh, awareness, situational and all that, you know, and uh, so on and so on. So that's like, you know, that falls into category, I imagine, of self-defense, you know, like not wearing your headphones and just walking around like a dumbass and not paying attention to what's going on. Uh, you know, like uh, if you see a whole bunch of a uh, group of, you know, five people, they look like they're hmm, across the street, you know, they come after you. You know, you got to maneuver, you know, you got to find a place where there's a lot of people and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, you got to, um, so it's different, right? And I'm not, I don't pretend to, to live in that type of environment because I don't. It's very safe where, I, where I'm at. Also, I don't go out, guys. Like, I, I essentially make videos, you know, uh, work with people, coach people online, and then after that I go training, I come home, and, and that's about it. I don't really hang out in, in places where things like this happen, but I used to be a bad motherfucker. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oops. I don't think one cuss word is gonna make a big deal in the whole thing, right? But uh, anyways, guys, that's for another video. Uh, it's a little bit of ranting here on my side, but that's who I am. So guys, like the video, comment, subscribe. Um, of course, help me grow the channel. If you guys need coaching for health and fitness, you know, I do that too. Uh, all the links are all below. Uh, sharing is caring. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.